and off the train goes across the viaduct, which I will be walking to very, very soon. G loves trains here and welcome to Exploring Yorkshire and the Humber by Train, day 16. You find me up back in North Yorkshire where today I'm visiting Canonley, Skipton, Horton and Ribblesdale, Settle and Ribblehead. Now for a while I've been wanting to get a shot of a train going across Ribblehead Viaduct. Well hopefully later on towards the end of the day I'll finally be able to do that. But in the meantime I'm just going to enjoy being back filming along the Cecil to Carlisle railway line. Getting on the first train it's the Bradford Foster Square train. It's out of space book 333014. Oh wow, it looks lovely here. I'm so happy the sun is out as well. There's quite the tree views from either side of the stage and some more hilly views over in the distance there, lovely. Canonley's got some silver seats, some shelters, ticket machines, and there is a level crossing outside of the station. There's a cat here too. Canonley's got two platforms and it's run by Northern Trains. The River Air, Air, whatever you want to call it, does run down there, but so beautiful in this station. I'ma just wait here till the next train. I was just thinking, it's not often you see the station signs and the lampposts behind the fence on the platform, but here at Canonley, they are. You can actually see my next train right over there in the distance coming around to the station. Just got a 331101 that's brought me to Skipton and this is me coming off the more fast paced Skipton to Leeds stopper service and I am going to be moving on to the Cecil to Carlisle railway line and I am going to be doing a back forth with the stations there just to make the day go by a little bit quicker and I do need to figure out where platform 3, okay it wasn't hard to figure out I've just seen platform 3 is over there, I need to figure out how to cross over there. <laughs> Here you actually cross the platforms underneath fire ramp. Skipton's got four platforms, Northern Trains call here, there's also a limited LNER service. This station is actually bigger than I thought it would be to be honest with you. There is a ticket barrier, there's toilets, there's a poster over there telling you about the history of the station. I've always wanted to skip at Skipton. <laughs> The Leeds Liverpool Canal does run pretty close to here as well, but I've not got time to go there because my train is literally right here. It's a pretty 158758. I'm at Horton in Ribblesdale and it is absolutely beautiful here. It's a really pretty lucky station and the view over the oh my days how stunning and when you're at Horton and Ribblesdale you put your knickers on your head you put your knickers on your head you put your knickers on your head when you're in Horton and Ribblesdale you put your knickers on your head and you shout squishy babies At Horton in Ribblesdale there is a station building, there's two platforms, there's a lot of greenery, Northern Trains call here, there are some of those lampposts that are reminding me of when I filmed my North West series, they're red and they've got the station name at the top of them, it's got a barrow crossing down at that end, there is a Harrington hump over there, there's a broken bench over here and also over here ahead of me there is a waiting room and I'm going to see if that's open because I want to take a look inside it. Yeah, we can. It smells of old sweets in here. Uh, there's a musical instrument ahead of me. What is this? Limestone lithophone. Shall I have a go play it? How do I play it? Well, there we go. That's my first ever time playing the limestone lithophone. Right, I'm going to get back outside because it's way too sunny to be in a place of shelter.
I like this bit of signage here, it tells you that Horton in Ribblesdale's got an altitude of 850 feet and that it's 65 miles to Carlisle and 242 miles to London. Why does it say London though, however, because Carlisle I understand is direct, but London, it's not direct to London from here. I'm on Mulberry 869 and that was quite a step up onto this train. I see why there's a Harrington bump on that platform. I've just had a wee as well because there's a bit of a long wait at the next station and we are currently just running right alongside the River Ribble. I'm at settle. Alright, settle down, settle down. I have got an hour 40 minutes here, so after I've had a look around the station, I am going to probably have a look what's around, go have a walk there. Settle is a northern only station and it's got two platforms. It's also got probably a lot of other stuff in here as well because the stations all along this line are very interesting. Yep, there is a lot to look at here. There's a station building with a shop, there's loads of waiting areas, there's big settled station signs, there's a signal box. Like with Horton and Ribblesdale, there's another altitude signage area thing. And down the end of this platform, there's a bug house. I love these settle down and settle up signs they've got on the benches. Oh look, they're advertising staying at Dent Station. Do you know what there's not? I've just triple checked it and I will do a quadruple check after this. I'm pretty sure there's no like standard station signs, you know, the ones I get my selfie with. So I'm gonna have to get my selfie with one of these big settle signs. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that sign in the sun, but you could easily walk to Giggleswick from here. It's only 1.4 miles away. It is so hot, I've had to take my jacket off. I was debating this morning how many layers to wear. I'm glad I didn't decide upon any more. And just walking through Settle Town Centre here, I proper was just like, I'm sure I've been here before, but it's just hit me that I've not been here before. It just really looks like Kirby Stephen. I spotted a walking path on maps and I've only just stepped on it in oh my days. I'm already so out of breath, this is ridiculously uphill. Oh, it's a lovely view. I'm not sure where this is leading to, it's just up and up and up to the top of the hills, but um, I actually don't know how I'm gonna get down because it's really stony, this path. I'm gonna have to really take my time so I don't slip. My last train of the day is pulling into Settle now. It's 158, 755. And off the train goes across the viaduct, which I will be walking to very, very soon. And now at Ribblehead, very surprisingly, the staggered platforms here, I did not know that at all. I think I've just constantly been looking out that side of the window when I've rode down here. But Ribblehead is operated by Northern Trains and yeah, it does have the two platforms. Again, it's another good looking station. There's some absolutely gorgeous views to admire. On this platform, we've got some mini trees, some lampposts and a little diddy waiting room with an information display in the Okay, so to get out of the station, you have to cross over the Barrow Crossing, which leads you onto the other platform anyway, which I was going to have a look around, and then that's where the exit is. <laughs> On this platform, there's an information display outside. There's some bunted up along this fence. There's a lot of wind, and I was wondering whether you could see the viaduct from here. You can like, just about see the very top of it. Stata Station, done that. Well, I don't think I need to get maps up to find where the bike is because, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> I 
I'd seen this walking path from up there when I was on a train and I just wanted to be down here watching a train go past. I'm in position waiting for one to hopefully go past. Ribblehead Viaduct has got 24 spans. It doesn't look like there's 24 of them but I have just counted and yeah I can confirm there are 24 arches and there was a poster up in a shelter at Settle Station telling you all about the viaducts. Really I've just checked and I've got 10 minutes until a train is going to come past so I think I'm going to go and position myself in the middle of this path. moment I have been waiting for. It was wonderful to just watch the train going across the viaduct then and it is beautiful around here and very windy but I think the whole of the South Carolina railway line is beautiful. The stations are beautiful, the views out the windows are beautiful and um, I think the consensus is that it's pretty much one of everybody's favourite railway lines and I certainly recommend a trip down it. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Buzzy bye! <laughs>